Today, we're going to take a look at the 1988 through 1991 Ford Crown Victoria LTD Full Risen Kit. Let's get to it. Hey everyone, and welcome to What's in the Box. And today, we're taking a look at the Full Risen Kit for the Ford Crown Victoria LTD. Uh, I believe this is the 1988 through 91 model years this uh, kit covers. Uh, this was made by, the guy's name is Dwayne uh, Larviera, I believe is his, his last name. I'm not sure if that's how it's pronounced. Anyways, he did the work on this one. This is his creation. But then he had some help from our couple of local guys to me. Uh, one of them, his name is Mike Schneer. He helped do the, uh, he got the windows done for it. He vacuum formed the clear parts or the windows and some other things as well. I believe he did some work on the master to help make it better for casting and help the guy with some other uh, things that need to be done. And then uh, Greg Wan, the master caster, is doing the casting. This is going to be a little bit of an expensive risen kit. It's just north of $100. It does include shipping. This is definitely a subject that you're going to really have to kind of want, I think, uh, this is where it's at. It's it's a it's a I must have type of subject for that type of pricing. This is a full kit. You do not need any donor kits to complete it. Everything you need is in the box. Uh, Greg Wan did provide me with this review sample for the video, and then the nice thing is I do get to build it as well. So a huge thanks to him for for providing me with this uh, review sample. So with that, let's get to it. Let's check it out and getting started with the body. Now, uh, it is correct, the front clip is a separate piece. It's not missing. It is. It was done that way on purpose to aid in the molding process. There you can see the body. Yes, it will need a little bit of cleanup. Uh, as with a lot of resin casting, it will need a little bit of cleanup before you can proceed. To me, well, I'm not an expert. To me, it looks like what it's supposed to. It looks, to me, it looks like a 88 through 91. For Crown Victoria square body, it I don't see anything that jumps out and looks inaccurate. But again, I'm not an ex not an expert at these things. I don't have that eye uh, to notice things that might be wrong. I'm just never been. I'm just not good at it for some reason. I guess it, taking noticing large scale down to small scale inaccuracies. Um, to me, I think it looks the part. It looks like what it's supposed to which is what matters. And real quick, we'll take a look at the uh, interior bucket and the chassis. Start with the chassis. The chassis, uh, if it looks familiar to you, it is. Uh, they basically, they modified the chassis from the, Lib from the Ling Lindbergh uh, Crown Vic kits to make it fit into this uh, the risen body. In the interior bucket, um, I'm not sure what they use for the interior bucket. They might have used the uh, Crown Vic kit as well. I'm not 100% sure. Um, all right, getting us started, we're going to take a look at some of the exterior body pieces. And there you can see you have the front grille insert, the front clip piece, the bumpers, the hood, and in this gaggle of risen is the hood ornament. So we'll get started. And we'll look at so there is the front grill insert, the front grill piece. This is what I my understanding of this doing that grill, getting the grill was one of the hardest things they had to do for this kit was getting that done. There is the grill insert piece. There is the front clip, which does has a which does have a hole for the hood ornament. One issue I can that I can point out is the grill piece doesn't doesn't curve enough to match the front clip. It needs to be curved a little bit. There is that. Now let's see the hood with underhood detailing, front and rear bumpers, and 
and the hood ornaments there. Now we're going to take a look at in the interior parts. And there you can see you have your choices of your dashboards and your choice of interior panels to go with the dashboard of your choosing and then the front see so we'll take a look at the uh, dashboards first steering wheels there there's the 91 steering wheel and the 8889 steering wheel the seat and the steering columns now we're going to take a look at the wheels that have been provided in the kit as well so as you can see you get wheel backs a set of steelies and a set of hub caps so this this does come with the with the police package wheels and then the uh, set of mirrors too which were in the wheel bag exterior rail rear view mirrors now we'll take a look at the tires and they are actual rubber ish type tires uh, they're not risen they're rubber or some type of type of material uh, my understanding is these tires were made to be period correct and the wheel back will go on the back side obviously boom there you go And now we're going to take a look at the clear pieces uh, for the kit. This is the last of the parts to look at. As you can see, here we have be the vacuum form front and rear uh, clear pieces, the front and rear window. Uh, no side windows, but those are going to be easy to make if you desire just a uh, flat clear plastic and you have some side windows. You know, it's real easy to make if you desire. And there's the vacuum formed front and rear window. And then you have the uh, rear tail lights, the front headlight pieces, and then the lower front uh, turn signal marker lights there for on the front grill piece. So that's going to wrap it up for this look at this Ford Crown Victoria LTD Risen kit. There you can see there is the list of everything you get. I'm going to put in the description the email address on how uh, that is how you will order one. You will email them, tell them that you would like to order order one. The process, my understanding is you kind of get in line, there's like a waiting list, and when it is time for your order to get processed or, or for them to make it, or just after it's been made, they will go ahead and then you will get charged, you will pay for it, then it'll get shipped out to you. The price you pay doesn't include shipping as well. So it's kind of a, uh, they're doing it in order, and nobody's going to pay until theirs is ready to go. Again, I want to thank uh, Greg Wong for providing me with this review sample for the video. Thank you, Greg. I highly, really, I really greatly appreciate it. And of course, our buddy James at Skill Finishes can probably get you some Ford Crown Victoria colors mixed up if you want to do a plain wrapper version instead of a marked unit. So with that, thank you guys for watching. Mm -hmm.